So and and so like you mentioned how valuable mm-hmm. your children are to you. Right. I would imagine after spending 10 years with Diddy's children, they're right. also valuable to you. Right. What's your relationship with them like today? Do you still have a relationship with them? Did that did that all fall away? What is your relationship like with them? And what well, was it relation what was the relationship like with them? Well, the daughters, the daughters I never really had no relationship with because even though I was there when Kim had her children and I was the I was one of the ones that you know how when celebrities have children, you have to they want pictures and they want this, that, and the other. So we took turns. We had like a 12-hour shift in front of her room to make sure people didn't get pictures of the babies and all that. And I was in their life until they was four. So when I seen them, I said, yo, you remember me? And they was like, nah, I don't remember you. Yeah. But like Christian and 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 Justin are the ones that like to this day, you know what I'm saying? Like Justin just hit me, I want to say what, about a week ago? And he was like, yo, man, he said, unk, he said, no matter what we go through, always remember that we are stronger together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then it was one time that we was at a party in Vegas and he said, yo, I don't know what you and my father going through. He said, but I remember that you was there. And I said, I was there where? He said, you was at every football game, every football game. Huh? So when he talked to me like that, it's a relationship that ain't going to never go no man. No matter what, they got to respect their father because it's their father. Absolutely. But knowing deep down inside that I got the real love for them and they got the love for me is what, like, when Justin comes to Atlanta, he's still going to pick up the phone. Yo, unk. Because he's 30 years old now. So it's like, yo, unk, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So that relationship means a lot to me because, you know what I'm saying, I raised him. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things that I always told him, and when he told me I was at every football game, I told him, I said, don't forget who made sure I was at every football game. Because the one thing I realized is that a father and a son relationship, I don't never want you to think your father wasn't there. Yeah. For whatever reason he wasn't there for, he made sure somebody, somebody was, was there. there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I try to Which show. It's valuable. Like, yeah. it shows that you were obviously a loyal and true friend of Diddy. Right. Right. Um, you went through the situation where your son, you find out, you know, he's a blood, he's a leader. Right. Now you got this story coming out, of, I believe, about Christian talking about GDK. Right. Um, and he's out there. Do you feel like that's just bullshit? Um, or like... It's it almost seems like it's that that rep- the story repeating itself, doesn't it? it? It feels like that, but the only difference is one one did everything in his power, and one never experienced that. Like my son experienced it because regardless of what he lived on 139th Street and Seventh Avenue and Lenox Avenue. So, but then you got one that grew up behind a gated community all his life. It's one that's trying to be something and it's one that really in reality doesn't have no choice but to be yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So when I see that, I'll be like, nah, nah. That's when I feel like now is the time where Puff is supposed to snatch him. Yeah. And, you know, really show him because that's that ain't no way to be. You know, you got the, you know. Do you feel like it's tougher for him to pull him in right now with everything that's going on? Uh, that's a, that's, a, that's a good question because the, everybody is big enough to see what's going on. Everybody hears everything. But I feel like the respect and the loyalty that Christian has to his son, to his father, that if he was to pull him in, he would do exactly what he said to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that he knows his father loves him. So I know that if his father pulled him in and said, yo, listen, that ain't the way to go. But now you, you got. You think it's a way for him to scream out for attention, though, by saying this, or you know, like he he did look like he was probably drunk or fucked up in that situation. Right. He says this right, like he might not, he might have not been serious. He does that, but he's, you know, these these kids now, it's almost like they want to. Money, be money is the money, money, money makes you think that you're something that you're not. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's what I'm afraid of. Money makes you think that you're invincible. Money makes you think that you could. Now, now, when you say yo. It's not your money. It's your father's money. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
you still got to come outside. So if you're not willing to say, I'm going to stay inside, or you're not willing to pay for 10 security everywhere you go, I would say back up and leave that type of shit alone. Like, just be be yourself. But I think he's caught in a, a, a place where to sell records, he thinks that he has to be something that he not. To yeah. be cool, he has to be something that he not. You know, the gang life ain't nothing. I've been in gangs all my life. I'm talking about gangs that people never even talk about no more, like the Zulu Nation. You know what I'm saying? Like the Black Spades. You know what I'm saying? Those was the gangs that we had coming up, if you want to. But they wasn't the gangs that they are now. Like, yeah. you know, the Black It seems like Crip. it's a lot more scattered now, right? Like yeah. a, a, a lot less attention to detail, more uh, I'm part of something. Yeah, you know more, yeah. more less less loyalty. More uh, look at me on social media. I'm one of those guys. You I'm gonna be real. The, the loyalty is there. They they loyal to each other, right? But what's 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 going on there is the fact that all they got is each other, and that's what you gotta realize, man. These kids is for real about it. Like they not playing about it. So when I look at Christian and them talking about it, I feel like you playing about it. But it's really kids out here, man, that that's how they eat. Like, no, we are serious about this. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I think you're going to bump into. Yeah, like you got food on your table. I don't, I got to go hunt that food. I got to go hunt yeah. that food. And they'll take 100 years like it's nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was with them. Like, I, I take 100 years like it's nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm dying for the brotherhood. And, and if you don't feel that way, you would hate to find out about that when it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's and that's what could happen. Before we wrap up, I wanted to know, like, were you familiar with Harf Pierre? Um, because yeah. you know, there's the rumors going out that he's smoking crack or he smoked crack. Is that like something that um like what do you think about those those stories that are coming out about him? Is that that uh, to who he was? Because he's in hot water too. So yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's in hot water. I seen it allegedly. Too, really. allegedly. Allegedly sponsored yeah. again today's uh, podcast is sponsored by the word allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's toast to that yeah, one. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Mm. Half Pierre. Uh, I would say Half Pierre is one of the greatest guys that I ever had a, a, a chance to deal with at Bad Boy. You know what I'm saying? As far as business wise, as far as personal wise, he been through a lot. He lost his daughter to crib death when she was a, a baby. You know what I'm saying? God so how, bless her to crib death. You know how? So like rolling over. Yeah, oh, in the man. crib and you know stuff like that. Damn, that shit is terrifying. Yeah, right. Right. Like I, yeah. I, I can't front. Right, 19 yeah. months, my son. Every day, cause I don't sleep normally. Like I'm a type of dude. I'm up, right, always. So I'm grateful for that, right? Because I can't tell you how many times I'm at the. Uh, at the crib. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he woke up and he needs mama's titty, but like I'd rather him need mama's right. titty and wake her up. Right. Than, than to think that up. he ain't up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a terrifying thing. So right. that that's terrifying. I had to Yikes. Yeah. And, and, and that and he went through that. You know what I'm saying? It was a trying time. I was around for that. You know what I'm saying? So he's always been a humble dude. Like the accusations that they make about him, I, I really don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I, re I, re I, I think everybody was took by surprise by that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, if I had a chance to say, I would say he's definitely not smoking crack. He's always been business minded, always been on top. And even though he left Bad Boy, I think he left Bad Boy around 2012, 2013. Puff is, he's the only one that Puff trusts as far as like when he, when he does the Bad Boy tour. You know what I'm saying? You got to get half Pierre because he's no, he know, he know exactly my sound, the ears, the this, that, and the other. So he, I think he was charged with that accusation from like 2015 to 2017, which was the Bad Boy tour. You know what I'm saying? So, I know that he was getting ready to come back again for the love tour. You know what I'm saying? So as far as smoking crack, I wouldn't believe that. But then again, you know, I, I, I know that he's been through some trials and tribulations. Yeah. And I don't know what, what, what that could drive a person to. Absolutely. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. Losing a child is tough.